Okay, and that includes what you went through with your different trials in Hawaii and everything else that you testified to, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, you went to Mr. Depp's home for dinner and drinks before you were hired as an expert in this case, correct? That's not quite what, right. I was interviewed at Mr. Depp's home by his legal team. Dinner was served. You, in attendance with Mr. Depp was Adam Waldman, correct? Yes. Ben Chu, correct? Yes. Camille Vasquez? Yes. Okay. And the dinner lasted approximately three to four hours. She destroyed the lawyers of Amber Heard, did she really? <clears throat> four hours, correct? Yes. And it included the interview. drinks, correct? Yes, dinner and I believe drinks were served. Okay. And this was before you were hired as an expert, correct? Yes, this was an interview so that they could make an informed decision as to whether or not to retain me. And don't you think that's a little odd that you're getting interviewed by Mr. Depp to decide whether you're going to testify adversely against Amber Heard? I was interviewed by the legal team. Okay. And Mr. Depp was present. It was his home, correct? Yes. And he was serving dinner and drinks. He correct? was not serving dinner and well, drinks. Well, it was at his house at his behest, correct? Yes, it was at his house. Okay. And you were contacted by Camille Vasquez, somebody you knew in the community in February of 2020. Is that correct? I knew of Ms. Vasquez. Is she implying that they wined and dined her in order to change her opinion? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, dude. They really don't have anything, do they? They really don't have anything at all. Professionally, we live in the same city and I work with many attorneys. Okay. And at that time, you not only knew Johnny Depp, you'd seen a number of his TV and movie roles and you believed he was a good actor, correct? Not correct. I did not know Johnny Depp. Well, I've seen knew several of, of his movies. You knew who he was? Yes. Right. And you believed he was a good actor? Correct? Yes. Okay. And then you provided and? an expert designation in this case before ever seeing Amber or having an opportunity to review any documents or records. Isn't that correct? I did not provide an expert designation. That's that's an attorney thing. My opinions are contained in my report. Let's pull up plaintiff's exhibit 884, please. Who the fuck doesn't know Johnny? Yeah, that's a weird question. So you know Johnny Depp? I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> he literally is famous as shit. He's been in so many movies. Oh, so you do know him. Oh, oh okay, that, that's important stuff. This was plaintiff's day. Yeah, imagine, imagine, like, so you think he's a good actor? No. Shit. Honestly, his, his work, it's just not my cup of tea. Not a good actor. Nation, identification of expert witnesses in this case. And this is dated February 2021. That's a, a year after you went to dinner at Mr. Depp's house, correct? Yes. Okay. And it attributes, if you go to page 13, it says you have three opinions. The first of those is that Amber Heard, quote, exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder. Did I get that right? It makes I'm reading sense. that here. That is not my opinion. Okay. Well, but it's, it's a current opinion, but this was not an opinion of mine then. I didn't have any opinions at that time. It says Dr. Curry will testify, correct? That's what it says, yes. Okay. And this is a signed pleading, correct? On behalf of Mr. Depp. I, I'm not sure I understand what that means. What? You don't understand what a signed pleading is? No. Okay. Do you understand that Mr. Depp's counsel prepared this and served it on Ms. Hurd's counsel? I, I'm not an attorney. I don't understand necessarily all of these procedures. Okay. Are you aware that Mr. Yeah, Mr. What? Depp is on an audio recording years earlier taunting Amber Heard that she has a borderline personality disorder? I was made aware of that in this case, yes. So you did actually the audio not necessarily taunting, but I do recall hearing that Mr. Depp had used that phrase. So it's Dude, that's how oh my god, dude. This is like this is literally just lawyer 101, man. Lawyers always they twist the wording and dude, she she's smart. I'll, people were saying she's smart earlier. She is smart because she caught that. Most people, that's what, that's what lawyers do. They throw in those extra buzzwords, like a taunting, you know, all that different shit to make it like, you know, like lead in the direction of, oh, so it was, he, he was being rude with it. He was using it as like, yeah, damn, dude, she got her. Let's go. God, I hate lawyers, man. Yeah, I, I was in mock trial chat, so I know, I, I know a little bit about uh, the, you know, the lawyer stuff. I hate lawyers, though. <laughs>
they're so dude this how much they manipulate stuff a coincidence that you now think she has those attributes after the attorneys listed it in february 2021 before you'd looked at anything and mr depp had made that accusation oh you took paralegal my nice. opinions are yeah the only thing i've done is mock trial club when i was in high school g man thank you so much uh I will admit though, mock trials fun. Like doing it as like for a fun thing, I'll admit it's pretty cool. Like, you know, cross-examining people and shit and like trying to, to catch them slipping and stuff. It's fun when people's lives aren't on the line. You know what I mean? Like, like when someone who murdered someone gets out of, uh, uh, you know, gets away with it. You know what I mean? When that shit isn't involved, it's fun. When it's just for fun, it, it's, it's pretty cool. I took mock trial, you know, I'm something of a lawyer myself. Haha, <laughs> you fallen for my ruse. It's fun when it's, when it's among us, true. That's, dude, that literally is all what um, trials are. It's just among us. We just try to find the imposter. Based on it's, it's, it's objection. Okay. I'm sorry, Dr. Yes. Compound, I'll sustain the objection. All right. It's a coincidence, then, that you came up with <laughs> symptoms of borderline personality disorder years later after Mr. Depp has been taunting Ms. Perry. How is that a coincidence? I can't speak to whether... So she's saying that just because Johnny Depp mentioned borderline personality disorder a year before that was her... I feel like borderline personality disorder is pretty easy to figure out. You know what I mean? Like, like honestly, it's not that hard to figure out if someone has it. It's pretty general. Like, there's a lot of generalizations when it comes to that. So it, it could mean many different things. That's we. Uh, how is that a coincidence? Whether or not there's a coincidence, what I can tell you is my opinions are based on the results of my evaluation. And it's a coincidence that Mr. Depp's counsel attributed that to you, that said that to you in February 2021 before you'd looked at anything, correct? I'm not sure. Okay. Now, would you agree that a disproportionate number of women are tagged with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder? No, that's not quite right. 75%? The way you phrased it is not quite right. Tell me, tell me what's right. Okay, so there are more women who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder than men. It's more prevalent in women. And trauma can cause borderline personality disorders, can't it? No. Never? Right now. Oh! Oh! Get dunked on, lawyer. Dude, she thought she had her too. She thought right there. Now we know that there are people who have borderline personality disorder who have sustained childhood trauma. There are also people who have borderline personality disorder who have had no childhood trauma. So like most personality disorders and really like most mental health issues in general, there seems to be both a biological component. In this case with borderline personality disorder, the research tends to support a genetic component and possibly a neurological component. And then there is also possibly an environmental component triggering those genetic markers. Do you know the percentage of women who are victims of IPV, intimate partner violence or domestic abuse, who are diagnosed with borderline personality disorders? I can't tell you the percentage off at the top of my head, but I do know that there is a larger women with borderline personality disorder tend to have a higher prevalence of being involved in intimate partner violence relationships, being the receiver of violence, and being the perpetuators of violence. Now, you've never been asked to testify. And, and, and we got her. We got her. <laughs> the lawyer's like, yeah. Yeah, I got this one. I got this one in the bag after that. <laughs> or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has a bipolar disorder. Is that correct? A bipolar disorder? Yes. That's not correct. Okay. The Gordo sounds aren't up, chat. I'm sorry. Chat, I, I moved. I, I have to set up all my stuff. What's happening? Bear with me. That's a tight ponytail. Yes, ma'am. It's a very tight ponytail. Thank you. Thank you. In this case, yes, on March 21, 2022, I believe that was the date. Why does she and keep interchanging bipolar and yes. BPD? I don't know. All right, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 207. And the question was Have you ever been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has bipolar disorder? And your answer at that time, will you please read to the jury? I'm sorry, page 207. 207, line five. Uh, could you no. read? 
Okay, thank you. Now, when this designation was served in February of 2021, you had not rendered an opinion that, quote, Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder, correct? I'm sorry, I, I missed the first part. What was that? When this designation was served that you have in front of you as plaintiff's exhibit 884, oh, okay. you had not rendered an opinion that, quote, Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline. Okay, like uh, what? Like, whoa, speak English. Okay, that's another thing that lawyers do. They throw in a bunch of words to confuse you. What the f I don't even know half of what she said, man. I'll be honest. I know it's sped up a little bit. Maybe it's because it's sped up. That I, 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 bro, I did not catch half of that. I'm personality disorder, correct? No, I had not rendered any opinions. My opinions weren't finalized until after my Closey. evaluation. Right. So when this came out, you had not rendered that. Sussy, okay. closey. I had not rendered that opinion. Okay. The second opinion that's listed in the February 2021 is that Ms. Heard repeatedly and characterologically perpetuated severe physical and psychological intimate partner violence, IPV, toward Mr. Depp over the course of their relationship. End of quote. Did I read that correctly? Uh, it says perpetrated, but other than that, yes. Okay. And so it, is it... Correct that they that dude she's fuck she's owning her it's so funny he's like yeah uh, I'm gonna grammar police you right now <laughs> this pleading says in February 2021 that you are going to testify to that this document it, yes. yes okay it says and, that and you have never been asked to testify as to whether anyone has behaviorally or characterologically conducted conduct that suggests they may be an IPV perpetrator correct. I have, to, I have to ask that again because I yes. stumbled. Okay. I can't Thank do you. character logically. That one's just a okay. tough one for me. Okay. You have never been asked to testify as to whether anyone has behavioral or characterological conduct that suggests they may have been an IPV perpetrator, correct? No, I've never been asked to testify for that. Okay. And that was not your opinion in February 2021, correct? No. So my uh, uh, assumption so far of this is they're trying to say that the reason Amber Heard has borderline personality disorder is because of the abuse that Johnny Depp has given to her. However, we have not heard any of that abuse or seen any of that abuse. So again, it's not even relevant to the case. I, I, I don't foresee how this is even relevant to the case. Because aren't we supposed to be trying to find where Johnny Depp abused her not why she has a borderline personality disorder it seems a bit weird and in fact you do not hold that opinion now and you were not even asked to provide such an analysis or opinion isn't that correct no or that is correct that's yes. correct okay and you have never held that opinion correct no that is correct yes okay the thing is they don't need to prove it because she Your said so opinion. automatically they consider it true true was yeah. it misheard exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false, end of quote. Do you see that? I see that. You said it's my third opinion. That is not my opinion. All right. But in this pleading, it says that you will testify to that, correct? Yes, that's what this says. Okay. And that was not your opinion in February 2021, was it? No, as I said, I had not formed any opinions at that time. I had just been retained. And in fact, you have never arrived at this opinion as an expert <sighs> witness in this case, correct? In terms, you know, the opinions that I've rendered are provided in my report. And, you and they're what I'm testifying to today. And you have never arrived at this opinion as an expert witness in this case, correct? I, uh, I'll sus sustain. You have never arrived at the opinion what? that Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false, correct? That's correct. Okay. And in fact, you've said... Did she... Uh is it me? Like, is she is she confusing? Is her wordings kind of confusing? Is she doing that on purpose? Is what it feels like. Because a lot of a lot of what she's saying isn't really clear. Yes, on purpose. That's what I thought. I was like, what the fuck? Like, how is she supposed to answer that? That has never been my opinion. Correct. What I'm saying is that this, the opinions in here, I these are not my opinions. My opinions are provided in my report. Can you please turn to page 255? Dude, she's, uh, she's not having session. it either. 
And if we can start on 254 to give the I context. I don't have that page, I'm sorry. 254, line 11. Oh, okay. And the question is now the next one is, quote, Ms. Hurd exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest her allegations Is that called double talking? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, are false, end of quote. Was that your opinion? Uh, are, are, are you talking about where uh, she said, okay, well, I'm sorry, what was that? And then they repeat it a little bit more aggressively. Is that what you're talking about? February 2021. And you they repeat it time, slightly more yeah, aggressively. Right? That is correct. And then I asked, yeah, I have know, you honey. ever arrived at that opinion in the time that you have served as an expert witness in this case? And your answer was, could you read that to the jury, please? Yes. Um, so no, it's not the task. I was cut off, or I, essentially what I read, I, what I said then was, no, Dr. that's Curry, not the please. task of Dash. That was never my task to determine. Can I say what that means? No. And then okay. the question is, so is it fair to say that you have never arrived at an opinion that- Dude, what the fuck? Can I explain what that means? No. <laughs> Dude, even even like the crowd back there is like, what the fuck? What a bitch. Quote, Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false. End of quote. And <laughs> no. what was your answer? Well, there was an objection. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll read it for you if you're having difficulty. Okay, no, no. Your answer was under oath. Correct. That is not my opinion. That has never been my opinion. Isn't that what correct. you said under yes. oath on March 21st? And then I wrote, do you, then I'm going to ask you, do you know who wrote this portion of the designation suggesting that these were your opinions in February of 2021? And what was your answer? I said no. Okay. Now, as of the time of this initial expert, where is this going? Any materials, reach any opinions, correct? I believe I had just started to review materials. Um, I, I believe that I indicated that in my deposition. I had not yet rendered any opinions. I uh, had completed my review and I hadn't conducted an evaluation. Okay. And in fact, you've never testified as an expert on IPV, intimate partner violence. Isn't that correct? I believe that is correct, but I may not be remembering all of my cases. Well, let's go to page 200. Okay. <clears throat> no wonder the lawyer. Oh, is this lawyer the, is this the lawyer that became a meme? My question was, have you ever testified as an expert on IPV? And your answer under oath. Double talk is a form of speech in which inappropriate uh, invented or nonsense words are in, 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 interpolated into normal speech to give the appearance of knowledge and thus confuse. Okay. Okay, that's, dude, I'm going to use double talk all the time, bro. I'm going to start using that phrase all the time. There's so many people I know who double talk then. Oh my God, dude. I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm going to start hitting them with that. Bro, stop double talking. What's that mean? Let me explain it for you. Yeah, it, it that that clears up so much. That clears up so much. Now I can just use double talk for every time I'm trying to talk about when they're just using a buttload of nonsensical words. Then at line 22 was what? Four years of uni and that's what I took away. <laughs> no. And you've never testified as an expert on emotional distress damages associated with IPV, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And you've never been asked to testify with respect to emotional damages associated with domestic violence or abuse, isn't that correct? Uh, again, that, I'm reluctant to say that's correct because with 15 years of experiences, experience, a lot of my cases have been complex and it may have been a component, but I don't remember explicitly a case being just about that. Let's go to page 199, line 20. My question to you was, have you ever been asked to testify with respect to emotional damages associated with domestic violence or abuse? And your answer under oath at that time was? No. I've not, right? Sorry, that, I haven't gone to page in time. Okay. You said, no, I've not. But right? I have not. Okay. Now, you also have never been asked to testify on whether an individual is being truthful in saying that they are a survivor of IPV. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And you have never qualified as an expert to speak to whether a person suffered from IPV, intimate partner violence, or was a victim or survivor of IPV. Is that correct? That's outside the task of a psychologist to determine whether an event occurred. We assess behavior. We, have, we assess mental status. We don't detect crimes. So you have not been asked to testify to that, correct? It's not something that occurs. So no, I have not. And you were not ultimately asked to provide any opinions on that, correct? No, I was not. Okay. Now, you did not disclose in any of the designations or your report Where is that this you going? met with and had dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp, did you? Oh, now we're finally back to that. Okay. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more yes, time? You did not me. disclose in any of the designations or in your report that you had dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp, correct? I did not disclose that I was interviewed by the legal team, no. I asked a different question. Are you trying to resist that you didn't have dinner with Mr. Depp and drinks? I'm not trying to resist that. Oh my God, stop rephrasing it and being a bitch. Just because there was food and drink there doesn't mean she was getting wined and dined by Johnny Depp, bro.
He was being a nice host, dude. Like, she was coming over, getting interviewed. He probably was like, yeah, can you just get us some food and drinks and stuff? Oh, my God. This is so stupid. This is so dumb. Are you resisting my question? No, she answered it perfectly. But it's not quite right. You did what, you had dinner dating? with Mr. Depp, did you not? I did. With and you had drinks with Mr. Depp, did you not? And what? You had drinks with Mr. Depp, did you not? Drinks were served. I. This was over two years ago. I may have had a drink with dinner, yes. In fact, you thought you had a mule or something, right? Possibly. Yes. Okay. And you didn't disclose that you had met with Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez at Mr. And Depp's it was with the legal team, yeah. And had dinner and drinks, correct? I did not disclose that. It's not significant to the report. It's not? You don't think that's significant, correct? I don't. Okay. But you've never been asked to meet with a client in his counsel before being retained as an expert, either before or after, have you? No. And you justified that it was okay in this case because it was a high-profile case. That's not quite right. I justified it in this case. Actually, I sought consultation about it. First of all, the person who had retained his attorneys was unable to come to my office with his attorneys. And yes, this is a very visible case. It's been going on a very long time. And I understood that there would be a need to interview me and determine, make an informed decision about my qualifications. Ooh, savage bird. Dude, she's out of material, man. Yo, thank you, Anonymous, for 100 bits. She's literally out of material. She's she's looking everywhere, bro. God damn it. She, I, I used every big word I could think of. What am I supposed to do? Can you look at page 240, please? I, mean, I used every big question. word I know. It's so highly irregular to meet with a subject in a litigation. And your answer on that occasion was, I would not say it's highly irregular. I would say it's not something that I would typically do. However, I had not yet been retained on the case. This was a large, high-profile case. And I understood that I believed that it was appropriate for a person retaining me with such a high profile to meet me, to be able to vet me, essentially with the attorneys present prior to retaining me on his case. Do you recall that? Yes. That's what you said under oath, correct? Yes. And then I said, have you ever done that before? And you said, no. Correct? correct. And then I said, have you ever done it since? And you said, no. Correct? Correct. Okay. Now, would you agree what? that... If you did not find something it that matter? Would be in favor of Mr. Depp and negative to Ms. Hurd, that you wouldn't be an expert in this case. That Essentially, you into court if, you, if you're going to say that Ms. Hurd is right and Mr. Depp is wrong. Correct? So, as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that, and I that, discuss that with I'm the attorneys. You, I'm asking you a question. I'd like you to try to answer okay. my question. You understand that if you found favorably to Ms. Hurd and negatively to Mr. Depp, you wouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be testifying. Objection speculation. No, I, oh, okay, sorry. hold on. Objection speculation. I, I, that's, that's not speculation. No, I'll sustain the objection. Don't ask. Okay. If, <sighs> it goes to bias, Your Honor. I sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. All right. You were, in fact, so excited about being involved in this case that you told your husband, even though this was a highly complex. Dude, she got fucked, man. She got fucked. <laughs> she got owned so hard. Oh my god. She even like went is like, "Your honor, come on." <laughs> Confidential matter that you were going to be conducting the examination of Ms. Hurd, didn't you? That is not accurate. You not only Was this lawyer hired to waste people's time? Husband, yeah. Correct? Waste Ms. people's Hurd. time. Not waste people time. I sound like a child. That is not accurate. What is accurate? You're incorrect. That is not correct. You, is your testimony today under oath that you did not tell your husband that you were going to be conducting the examination of Amber? That is my testimony. Okay. What? It, it so page 306? I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what the point of this is, dude. Please answer my question that are near impossible to discern because I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. Well, <laughs> what was the point of it? Does anyone know what the point of that was? Because I have no fucking idea. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell you
your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.